Guys, in this video, I'm going to speak about um, my children's life online. Mm -hmm. Say again. I said it. My children's life online. So I've got two children. The other one is say, um, seven. The other one is four. They live their lives online. And when I have people coming for a visit and they see my children living their life online, they're like, oh, you're not concerned. Oh, you know, there's a lot of things happening online. Oh, there's that. Oh, you know, I read an article about, oh, you know that. Like they come in, come in with a whole lot of negativity. Negativity. I do about negativity. So they're saying a whole lot of things about the internet and, and what can go wrong or what will go wrong or what might go wrong. Then I look at them like, guys, my children were born in the 21st century. So it means my children are digital natives. When my daughter was this small, um, I was holding her on my left hand. Dun, 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 dun. On the other side, I was on my, my Facebook. So we were born around the internet already. We were born around technology. When they were crying, I used to play music from my phone. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see like a four months old crying for your phone. And when you give the phone to the child, they keep quiet. So already they know these things. They were born in these things. I think the, the, the worst thing that we can do to our children, which is extremely brutal, is to try to detach them from technology. To try to detach them from, from internet. It's becoming evident, like especially now, now it's so evident that these guys, their lives are going towards that way. They're going to be fooling them. They're doing, now they're doing online teaching and learning. My daughter started teaching online learning when she was three months, uh, not three months, not three months, three years and three and a half years. It was so difficult for her to sit in front of the computer and, and look at a teacher teach. She would sit there four or five minutes, then she would say, yo, mommy, I'm, I'm bored. Um, can I, can we go to school? And, and, and. It was hard. Then we started a new academic year and we started fully online. We started fully online. I think now it's going three months and they're still online. If you see my children now, and especially my daughter, my son is, my son is, son is a machine. He's a machine. And like the shortcut he does, you'll see him when he plays games on the computer. Okay, let me tell you about my daughter first and I'll tell you about my son. Let me not confuse the matter, say. Okay, so when she started, man, she was, she was hating it. She was over the place. Then they started, got a new teacher, introduced online. They started working online. The first few weeks was not easy. She kept on asking about the previous teacher. And now she got the you know, head of that, that, you know what, this is my new lab. This is my new teacher. This is my new um, class. She calls them meetings. Do I have a meeting today? Yes, on the meeting. And... And she's operating, like the mom told me today, that the way she operates the computer, it's, it's so wonderful to see. Like, like nobody, nobody's ever taken her through that process. You know what? Computer, you open it, you switch it on right here, you put a password. I don't know who taught her. Maybe it's the brother, not me. Not, not me at all. Or maybe it's the mom. Maybe. Maybe is it you? No. She is not. She didn't do it. It's the brother. It's the brother. So she knows the password. She she opened Google's. She go to a class and then she joins the meeting and then um she opened two tabs. Um I was told today <laughs> I was told today that she opened two tabs. So the teacher was talking on that tab and the teacher was talking on that tab. So it was crazy. But I was not there. I'm I'm so happy I was not there. But what I'll say is, you, you must see her play uh, Minecraft. 
communicating. Oh, monsters coming. Oh, I need to squash this monster. Da, 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 da. Like the shortcuts. Fingers move. She's in there. She's native. She was born in that space all day. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, Tata said she must tell me. Go back, I'll come and ask you, it's fine. So, is which one is TNT there? I see icons. Which one? This one. The man? Yes. And then. So where is the monster? I can't really see nicely. Here. So. So you are this one. Are you that one? Yes. Okay. So this is the monster? Yes. This is TNT? Yes. Okay. And then. I'm gonna explode. I got that. See? When he gets in this hole, he Ah, falls. he falls. <laughs> wow. Get away, you zombies. But where are you going? I've got no idea what you're doing. I'm going back inside. Ah, okay. To play in my room. Ah, that's your room. Who built that room? Me. You built it by yourself? Yes. Wow. Amazing. I love oh, your room. I ah, I see. So they're waiting. What are you doing? Oh, you just put something there. You plonked something. What's that? Are you closing yourself inside? So you, why are you closing yourself inside? So zombies cannot get in. Then you're going to be safe. That's exciting, Toto. Enjoy your game. And we have my son. My son has discovered that, you know what, there's, a, there's a, a voice which, which Gary V speaks about it and say voice is it's a, it's gonna be the big thing in a few years. He discovered voice, click, and he search. He, he knows how to read and and for instance, your 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 typing when he has to type, he doesn't go type the the the. Record, click on the um, go into Google Google what's it called uh, Google Docs, and then click on record um, voice. Then he types. Then he says it. Da, 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 da. Then Google types for him. Google types for him. Seven years already. At seven, I was not doing that. I was not even touching computers. Shortcuts you find him on, on the computer playing Minecraft doing coding it's crazy building um towns building cities and being able to tell you that I build the city and 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 this is the kind of powder that comes from creepers and this is the sand which one this one one thing that says sand ah okay then when you mix those together you get tnt ah okay. the only exploding block what does it help you with tnt if you if you don't want to dig all the way to the to bedrock and try to break it mm -hmm. you can use tnt Oh, okay. Oh, and then it explodes. Okay, I see. But it can, but it doesn't just explode when you hit it. You need, you need flint and steel. Flint and steel. Yo, those are big words. Okay. Then you hit it with the TNT. When uh -huh. the TNT glows, that means it's about to explode. Ah, okay. So you must run away. No. Sometimes you can just stay. So it won't burn you when it, it explodes? Nope. Ah, okay. Is, Sounds okay. like fun. This is an example. Okay. Are you exploding something? Mm, no. No, okay. You don't need to explode something yet. Alright. 
But I see there is a block moving. What's that? Which block? This block here. See, the monsters are growling. That, that helps you to aim. Ah, I see. Okay, awesome. Well, Mr. Liver King. Should I explode it now? Yes, please. I'd love to see that. Amazing stuff. Yeah, you're using two TNTs. Yay! <laughs> wow! All right, Mr. Liver King. Mr. Liver King. Mr. Liver King, look up. Thank you so much for explaining to us. Enjoy your game. And again, um, Google Voice, again, he asked Google. Um, what's the name? Google. Hey, Google. Um, what's, the, what's the temperature today? Oh, the temperature today. Um, Google, please tell me about Kwame Nkrumah. Please tell me about Nelson Mandela. One, one time I got from school and he told me a whole lot about Nelson Mandela. I'm like, where do you get this kind of information? Because I don't know you. you you've never, you've never, you've never read the book about Nelson Mandela. So no, I know. Google tells me. I ask Google, then Google tells me. Then I'm like, oh, 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 boss, oh, oh, boss, oh, boss. You, you way too advanced. Advanced. Way, 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 way too advanced. So, so should I then stop them from? being in their space. I don't think so. This way it's going. Next few years, it's going to be fully at space. Online and online and online. And that's our life. The best thing I can do or we can do is to support them, to guide them. When something happens, we sit down, we speak with them. It's a process. You all learn by a process. If you think you're going to speak once to your child and they're going to listen to you and that's it, then you were, not a, you, you were never a child. You just became a parent. So that's my children online, um, their lives. And I spend a lot of time, like Saturday, we sit each in front of the computer and, and we, we work. You do um, reading eggs. Like everything is just online. The books that they're reading now, story time with mommy, it's on the phone. We have a few hard copies, a whole lot of books accessible online, and we, we, we shop our, our bedtime story right there. Just like that. So that life has changed. So it's for us as parents. To, to then being aware of what's happening and, and read positive things about the internet, about the technology and where it's going to and how our children are involved and how to protect them online. If you're not sure, then you can check out Common Sense. I'll load the link here um, below. Check Common Sense because they do the reviews and and what's good and what's not good. So it's a lot of that that we can do. But other than that, we cannot detach them. We cannot remove the guys from the internet. We cannot remove the guys from um, technology. Technology is part of them. Whatever they do, however they do, it's part of them. They're using Uber now. Previously, we didn't use Ubers. But now Uber is part of their life. Just on the phone, Uber comes, then we jump into the stranger's car and we drive for, <laughs> for whatever hours in the stranger's car. Previously, we couldn't do that. And we are not allowed to just even stand close to a stranger's car because they were going to torture you. They are going to steal you and, and it's not like that anymore. Life has changed. So let's keep our parents. That's my piece. See you in the next video.